good morning it's my birthday <laughs> i am sparkling today with my top it's my birthday let's chat so it's my birthday let's have a chat good morning Stacey. let's have a chat hi georgie hi my hi, <laughs> hi nephew hi lynn i'm gavin sent a message to your dad and said at four o'clock i was outside i didn't hear the phone good morning candice hello guys ask me a question today candice i sent a friend to your site yesterday because boy did she need that message you had about your friend cat couldn't say no you have some wonderful things that you talk about but that was really worth it thank you everybody thank you everybody hi yuko yuko is going to help me answer the question and and stacy so when yuko Hi, Rita. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys doing today? You go, your thing is not working as usual. Um, okay. So, here we go. I pinned that Stacy, and I'm waiting for Yuko, but I have no idea where Yuko has gone to. Yuko, you have lost you again. So, good morning. Good morning, Stacey. Um, you should have heard this song that Kylie and, and Julian and Vanessa were singing this morning. <laughs> it was so funny. Hi, guys. Hello. Happy oh, birthday, Tessa. How are you guys? It's my birthday. Happy so we are having birthday. some birthday celebration. You look Hi, you Ryan. Look, Hello, you look amazing, Hi, Tessa. Helen. It's celebrating my birthday. And you can ask me questions today. Yes. Ask me any question. Okay. You know, I took it from the people of old where... They, on their birthday, they would talk to others yes. and, and tell them stories or answer, give them a little bit of knowledge if they had a question. So that was their way of giving mm -hmm. instead of receiving at a certain age in your birthday. Love so that. a little blessing studio. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Let me see if there's somebody uh, Thank else. you so much. And everybody, you, do you think Tessa's outfit <laughs> is the good? Yes. It's all gold. Oh, <laughs> That's beautiful. from Julian. Beautiful. That's from Julian. For my oh, birthday, yeah? and oh they sang, goodness. and they sang the song they speak, they sing at Jack Astor. For those of you in Toronto, yes. and it was funny. So anyway, hi Hiroko, how are you? Thanks for you. Hi, Happy friend. birthday. She sparks. She sparks. Yes. Hi Colin. Hi, Colin. Happy birthday. To, thank you. Oh, you thank you. So guys, sparking. hi Loretta, how are you? Hi Loretta. Wow, there are already sixteen friends are here. <laughs> You see, oh, our family yes, grows, amazing. and when it's birthday yes. time, everybody shows up. Thanks, Helen. The, this represents your golden years. There you are. I didn't think of that. That's what I love about this. It is the golden years. So, you guys, you know, I'm turning 78 today. Yay. And I woke up at 4.15, yep. and I went outside, and I just stood there and asked. I couldn't ask God for anything. Because you know you wake up in the morning and you want to pray. But I just stood there and I said, oh my God, I'm listening. I cannot pray. I just want to hear you, to feel you. And all I could hear was the birds and the, and things, Aww. the wind, the chimes. It was, and it was dark. And then yeah. it was around 4.30. But it was perfect to be outside wow. in a nice wow. room and just stood there. Wow, you look at your, thank you. Aww. Thank you so much. I, hi, Valerie. Wow. Hi, a Thanks lot of love. My mistake thought you were 76. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> oh 1946 does not make it 76. <laughs> Jean, we have, to, we have to do this. That's okay, though. I'll take 76 anytime. I'll take 50. I'll take 20. Yes. So you guys have your questions ready? Put yeah, your question questions in the ready question too. Box. Yeah. So first of all, yes, I sent everyone to an invitation and asked you guys to send some questions. And I have two questions Na from Nancy. Nadi. Two. Hi, Nadi. And also, let me see. And I also have a surprise whenever the person is ready. Not yet. Okay. So, would you want to get started? Would you want to get started? I know you're busy. You're going to be busy all day long. We cannot keep Tessa on IG Live for three, four hours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Helen, Helen, press the thing. Helen, I know I can see where you are, so just yep. cancel. Press cancel, Helen. Oh, <laughs> she requested. Okay. Yeah, and it came through. Oh, so just wow, press go reason. back out and what come back right? in. <laughs> I'm sure she just like, oh, oh. <laughs> just, no. <laughs> just click. <laughs> press 
the X, X Helen. The X, X on the right, on the right top. hand. Yeah, on the, the right. X at the top. So take that out and then you will be able to exit. Yeah. So just press yeah. the X. If Instagram always asks you if you want to go on a live and it's yes. and you if you press that, it will just yeah. bring you up here for me. Or if she so, doesn't know how, you can let her out. Okay. You can do it too. Okay. You have authority. I know what I can't. Sure she did it. She did by mistake too. Yeah, she so. did. I'm trying to get yeah. it, but it's not working. Um, her, I cannot her, do it. Her Wi-Fi is okay. Before that, okay. Um, how do that? you do that? Um, you could tell me. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can just press X and ask her to leave or something. I forgot something. If I press X, I will leave. No. no. So, uh, I, okay, so, so anyway, Helen will sort it out. Helen, hang up and come back on. I need you there. Helen is my <laughs> Christian friend. Yeah. Uh, for some reason, I, I have no authority I to do anything. I can't do it either. So, I'm not able to do it. How about, how about we're going to get, we're going to get a question started. Okay. Then That'll work. Let's get it That's going. Good. Let's get it going. Wow. Okay. So anyway. Okay. That's from Nancy. Yes. Nancy. I found okay. her. Hi, yeah. Marina. And then number, she has two questions for you. And then one question is what world events had the greatest impact on your life? A world event? Yes. Oh my God. When you have 78 years old, a world event happening. You know what? Um, a world event. Well, it maybe wasn't a big world event, mm -hmm. but um, the first time, I experienced a hurricane. Isn't that funny? It, it maybe didn't crash the world, but in 1979, I was in Canada and David, Hurricane David devastated the island. It was, oh. it was, it was, we went 19 hours without hearing from our parents, mm -hmm. 19 full hours. And that was in, in 1979. And what happened was they were at the estate and my siblings were at the businesses in the city. And it, 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 the, the stories that they had to share was terrible. So what happened was they would, they, people would bang on the door of the business the houses and the, where they were, and they would let them in. And the minute they would let them in, Mike, Curtis would say, a sheet of gandalash did just slice across the door. So that person just escaped. Hi, Belinda, good morning. Thank you for coming. But when it a uh, uh, road trip that would take 20 minutes mm -hmm. and if you walk it maybe an hour took them 14 hours to get from the city to the estate and we had no idea whether mm -hmm. our parents were dead or alive oh, i had wow. no idea we couldn't talk to them we couldn't see them we could just look at the news and it wasn't much because dominica is small and who cares in north america about little countries right mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. caribbean and the hurricane, Dominica is mountainous. So when a hurricane goes in, it comes in through high power, it comes in from the sea and it gets locked in. So it has to go back the same way it came out, but it couldn't. So it lashed them for those 17 hours. So it would go north to south mm -hmm. and north. And there, so when it's hitting the north, the south is calm. That's when they would come out and just look and then they would hear it coming. And they would have to go back in and uh, hi Kathleen and lock up again. So it, then my dad had to stand in a line for about eight hours with my brothers taking turn for them to give us a one minute phone call when they got things in the yeah. city. So they had to line up. So that's how that just real, made me realize the power of God, the power of nature, yes, and yes. the little power we had. And yeah. So, absolutely so my yeah. uncle was an engineer up here he went home to help rebuild mm -hmm. and i was pregnant with michael oh my god I, oh, that was in September. he was born in april so you can imagine and i have, yeah. was at the ceramic studio so we had to load up groceries and yeah. everything to wow. send to them and there were shipments going my uncle took it i remember dragging it this suitcase to my uncle's house and then to for him to take it because as an engineer going back they allowed him so that that was a wake up call wow. that really affected me. That, that's a really, really, really big world event you experienced. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you so much for answering. So I'm going to go to number two. 
What kind of music did or do you like? Oh my God, what kind of music I don't like? So that's do you what like? You do you like? I love you. You used to like. I love. And I love now, music. what you like? You I always. Like, I, what, what you I love music. I just love the song. I don't. The words sometimes, but I like. It's, I only hear words, right? So a classical yes. music, I will feel the music, mm -hmm. literally feel it. I, I just love music. But again, we were raised in that environment and I did it with my children. Um, so the music, I, when a song has words, I hear the words. I, then I take the words and I apply it to life. Mm -hmm. So that's why certain songs have certain meanings for me. You know, mm -hmm. and I will play them. Stacey has a lot of them from me. Thank you, Favely, um, because she likes music also. And that is really, really important yes. for, us, for me. So I like classical. Classic. I can listen to it all day. I love country and Western. I love rock and roll. I listen to Z Black play. So you can do oh, You got like so much uh, variety. Yes. I just, and, and the, I love the song, song track from movies mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i really i really love that mm -hmm. and wow, hi terry good morning hello, I, hello. So like I which love, song tessa like rep like, like revelin them Oppenheimer. i will listen to them and it just mm -hmm. you know or, or you take a good list resolve them any one of those and and even like a tenor when a tenor sings like we have the canadian tenors and what is his name the blind um, singer from tenor from from Italy and Pavarotti. So I go to a concert just for the songs. Do you? So wow. I saw oh. the I saw the Beatles. I saw the Rolling Stones. Yep, yep. I I went to Rolling Stones. Yes. You said? I, I love I love the Rolling Stones. I love my favorite <laughs> person wild. on the Rolling Stones is Keith Richards. Nobody, well besides Jimi Hendrix, nobody can go down to their knees at his age and come back up with the guitar in his hand. Oh my goodness! That is so. You know, he looks. <laughs> he plays that music. He goes down to the yeah. ground and he comes back up. Yeah. With the guitar, he's playing that song. Nobody can do this. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix did that. Jimi Hendrix. And I, <laughs> Yes, that's so wild. <laughs> and and Mama Cass Elliot. I love music. It's not my yeah. fault. I I think it's light. Yeah. You know, it makes, I agree. makes me cry. Music makes me cry. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, can I just take a moment okay. talking okay. about the music? You know what? I wish. Uh, hold on. Let me see, Helen. I don't follow Helen. I'm sure Helen just like I need to get out of here. I right? know. Uh, uh, you can tap on the top of the title if yeah. you see Helen. Oh, okay. You might be able to uh, let her I, out. I did. You did. I did. Said, oh, so, remove. Yeah, and maybe it'll work. <laughs> it's not working yet. Oh, it's well, only happened to Tessa's birthday, right? <laughs> this miracle thing has happened. We see like circling around. Anyway, I so know, I did. yes, Catherine, thank you so much for your question. Before we get to Catherine's question, Dang. I have, oh, there you go. Before that, I have a special guest that we're talking about the music. We'll, we, bring, we have a singer for today. So I want to bring Terry Thompson. Can you, Terry's here in the house. It's a tra traditional. Where's no, Terry? Terry, my are you ready? Are you ready? There, Terry, send a request, and then we'll sing a song, that song together. Oh, right? No. Please. You want me to press the button, Terry? It's showing there. Yes, please. Bring Terry in. <laughs> we we, You know what? We plan lots of this. And Stacy said, I love you so much, Tessa. I love you. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Yeah. Hi, Terry. <laughs> Good morning. I need tissue. Oh, you need tissue again. I need tissue. You, you're going to get me blushing now. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Okay. I'm going to stop. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You, first of all, Yuko, thank you so much for, for sending me a mess. I had it actually on my calendar this morning. So, believe it or not, I got it on my calendar. Tessa's birthday. So I had it ready to go, and uh, man, it's it's coming quite the tradition to be able to sing happy birthday to you, though. Yes, <laughs> thank you. 
I, I love it, man. So, Tessa, first and foremost, I just want to say thank you so much for being you. Thank you so much for all of your energy. You are an absolutely amazing woman, and I just want to say that it's an absolute privilege to be able to sing for you today. You humble me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I love it, Tessa. I, I wish you all the best of many more birthdays. So let's go ahead and get into it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Tessa. Happy birthday to you. I love it. Happy thank birthday, Tessa. Oh, thank you, oh, Sherry. Everybody, give me a Thank you heart. so much. Give, give, give thank me you for the time to I appreciate You know, you know, I appreciate that so much. I really appreciate Thank you for doing this for oh, me. Yeah, I, I absolutely oh. love it. And speaking of music, you know, music is one of those things that it, it, I always tell people music gives you the, the motivation to make it happen. And whenever you get the right song within your head, it gives you a, it gives you a skip in your step. It really can kind of take you places that, you know, that you can't really go yourself, but it gives you that energy. And, and being a musician myself for, for many years, I can relate to that. And it's one of those things that it speaks to the soul. It speaks to many people. And I'm grateful to be able to share the gift of music, the gift of light, the gift of love right here on your birthday. Thank you, Terry, so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank you for coming all the way from Florida, right? Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. And I got kids, so I'm in my truck. I'm, I'm not ready to take my kids to school, so I, 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 I had to be real short today, but we're about ready to head off to go to school. But Tessa, thank you so much. I love you. Oh, Have thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for being you. You know how much I, how I feel about you. So thank you. And keep, give your kids yeah. A hug and keep them close. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Are you guys having Thank a great you day? so okay. much. Thank Goodbye. you so much, Terry. So what Aww. else you want me Isn't to answer? Isn't amazing? Thank you. Okay. Thank you for that surprise. You yes, that was yes. very well I, know, I was in tears. <laughs> what a sweet moment. So I'm going to go back to... We can't, like we, you, we say, like, you know, we can't keep Tessa for four hours. We get... <laughs> So let's move into another question. My brother is there. I saw your message, bro, Ooh. but I was it was late. I was going to the shower when I saw it. See, see I'm crying to so don't do that. You see. Thank you, brother. I'll talk to you later today. Yes, I'm sure she'll be busy today, all day long. That's so, later. After 10. After 10. Okay, so here's my question from Catherine. Your uh, daughter, right? So how can someone find what they are passionate about? Okay, I, I teach that to you guys every day, or not teach it, I talk about it every day. And what I share with you about finding your passion, or, or I don't really put it that way. But the best way for you to recognize to, how to find your passion is to be aware of the things that you do. And when you do it, you can say, wow, I love the feeling that I get from doing this. And this is what is important. Um, if you, when you do something and it, it leaves you empty or it leaves you wanting or you, it makes you feel sad or it angers you or, it, or you're confused or you didn't like the release, what was happening, then, you know, avoid that. It could be an interaction with another human being. And it doesn't matter if that person is going to make you feel less than it's better to leave it alone. So the best thing to do is to open yourself to the moment and really don't care about the feelings that others will tell you you should have. Not about their feelings, but they'll tell you how you should feel. Or you should do this. You're, but no, but it doesn't do a thing for me. And that is mm -hmm. what it is. It's your feeling. It's not what we are doing. Mm -hmm. It's how we feel when we do something that really truly matters. Yeah. So you have to say, you know what, like with me, I love the feeling I get when I am speaking. I just mm -hmm. love it. Then, so I have a few. I love the, when I'm in the kitchen, I'm cooking and sharing, and there's a whole crowd waiting to eat. I, it does that, does that for me. Yeah. And I, I love it. Mm -hmm. I can sit back and enjoy it. I also love when we are sitting with, and, you're, and you're, I'm writing. And I put mm -hmm. some classical music on and I'm writing and, my, and I am in the music and my mm -hmm. mind just blows. 
and I, then I come up with I just eat, and I have no effort. So it's all words, but I feel I love it. And you have to find it. Yeah. Everybody has something. Yeah. That yes, when yes. you do it, mm -hmm. if you are in the moment, you will know. I love that. I, I love, love that. that. Yeah. It could just be teaching somebody mm -hmm. or, you know, talking with somebody. It could be, you know, I love helping my kids to do better than me. That is, mm -hmm. that is something you can feel good about. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I love I building the strength understand. of yep. others and giving them confidence and courage. Pavali, I met her years ago, all the way from mm -hmm. India. She sent me this a huge note and and because of just talking with Pavali, i met her parents and we all through wow. um, uh, zoom okay you know it's like a zim and they're so far yeah. away it's like you know what i mean yeah, and people, oh, yeah. So it was the talk it was the feeling like hearing her story mm -hmm. and, and, and giving her and teaching her to be her and mm -hmm. this girl has never looked back and it's so amazing i know well, you've been helping us to open the door, right? That's why we love to feel, how do I say, we love it. We, we love being here. We love being here. Thank you. Right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Feeling is amazing. And uh, uh, it was profound. Right? I, said, <laughs> <laughs> I remember every moment, most proud of meeting I had in my life. See? She, she still loved the feeling. Wow. Amazing. Amazing. Thank you so much, Tessa. And then I, oh, I have to scroll back. Jen, have a question. What is the one moment of your life that was horrific then, but wonderful now? Um, okay. <laughs> Jen knows me well, so she knows that is a word. I wouldn't even put in my vocabulary. <laughs> what H word? Horrific. 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 You see how much Horrific. effort it takes to say it? It's like we have to our words, right? Yeah. It is, I know yeah. what she's saying. Yeah. But remember when I said to Amma a few weeks ago, when she said, when I said, if somebody is bullying your child and there's something good in it because they came home to tell you that they're being bullied instead mm -hmm. of going and killing themselves and you don't know and she couldn't see you know mm -hmm. so she only so the thing about trying trying times horrific mm -hmm. um unpleasant all if you look at those words like hate they are they're there horrific yes. it's bad they trying yes. it's not that different so what we have to do when we have these horrific times the people say why am i having this experience you know um i am having this experience because of somebody else's reaction mm -hmm. so my in again um christmas 22nd of december 1980 1980 okay. yes I, I was on my way to the studio yep. so that was a very Ex I don't know <laughs> the words I'm looking for. That was an experience I'll never forget. So I okay, was, what is that? I, so I'm driving and I had a the, the square heavy Grand Prix. So they were made out of metal, all of them, okay. right? So I'm driving and I come to the intersection of um, Danforth Road and McCowan. And I normally make a left turn. And as I got into the intersection, something said to me, go straight. And I answered to myself, mm -hmm. oh, that Eglinton has so much traffic. Why do I have to go down Eglinton? I'll be get yeah. to the studio much later than I want to. I have people waiting for their ceramic classes. So I did not pay heed to that. And I went the usual <laughs> way. And as I am entering the intersection, this car, I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking, I have a green light. I'm looking at the green light and I'm seeing the green light. And this person is making a left turn into me. And I, I remember one of my brothers that was much younger than me, five and a half years younger than me. And he said to me, when you see that, put both your feet on the bricks and grab the steering wheel at 10 and 2 and hold on. Oh, because that person dang. is coming for you and you need to be able to pump that bricks in place. Wow. So I did that, and this man hit me, and oh his my. car spun around. I didn't move too far, but this, the car spun around, 
and it went not to, he was going east to go north and i was going south i was going south but i was going west sorry west mm -hmm. so that's where he hit me and he spun and he hit another car oh in the north lane God. and oh. i just stood there yeah, so the car just stood and the car was vibrating like a horse. I remember that. So the seat belt cut me a little. Thanks, Maria. And and then it cut me yeah. Mm -hmm. It affected my sternum a bit. And so I was so when my brother, the same brother, happened to be at the studio, that was Norman. Mm -hmm. And everybody at the studio, so he had to call. He, he anyway, they found out I was at the hospital. Oh wow. And so anyway so and then it was hard because it was the 22nd of december and that is one of the reasons why i will never go shopping or doing anything after the 21st of december i just don't that's don't a ask me to fight don't lesson. ask me yeah. to do anything yeah um i couldn't hold i couldn't lift michael up there you have a baby and i couldn't yes. lift him up you know Aww. so it was really it was really hard mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and but i had family i had loretta the all of them were there and mm -hmm. and norman of course the guy his wife her legs were broken because he hit on her side or whatever she when they hit the other thing mm -hmm. but he was a drunken driver but in those days it wasn't such a big deal right yeah so my then, brother yeah. so he's in the hospital the policemen are there my brother goes and grabs the man by his neck and says if she dies i'm going to kill you and the policeman said i'm not going to hear this oh. <laughs> and oh. so then and then they go to the studio everybody's yes. waiting yeah. so they come who are you that's what the policeman said to me and the hospital said the, oh, the lines are broke i was looking to see what happened to you i said there's about 40 people in one mm -hmm. spot <laughs> that's what is happening and i was supposed to be there so i was fine but it took a long time for mm -hmm. that but it turned up to heal. Wow. so yeah so that wow. was my but most that'll, yeah but that that'll was, turn to a life lesson that was two and then life lessons two yeah two because yes. listen, listen to the information you get and that yeah. i carry that with me and i always say it, it seems unusual when he says go left and you go your custom to go right and you do not change it's that hurts and you yeah. live to regret it yeah but every now and but, again we slip every yes. now and again I, expect to slip yeah. Hi, Lila. Yeah. thank you thank you everybody for all your happy birthday wishes i'm hearing you hi azim thank you hi, so Azim. much See, see, that will make make us think like we'll not go to go shopping December twenty second. No, nobody should do this. It's crazy. No, it's, no. You know, your guy can no. Yes, yeah. yeah. I, and it was, then, listen, the voice, listen, like you know, listen, if you yeah. get, we, we yeah. are not supposed to suffer as much as we suffer because we have help. We just was not taught to use that help. Yes, yeah. yes. See, like Georgia said, your guardian angel. Yes. Hi, Stace. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That that's a uh, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, like, thank Jean you so much for question. sharing. You see Jean's question. That was it, right? Uh, yeah, that was a John's question. And then Stacy has another question. The question. I have a question, Tessa. Would you play with us your favorite song? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that? Would you play with, with us with? with us your favorite song what, like this is supposed to dance <laughs> i cannot play a song do that do you have plans for today to celebrate yes Tessie. i'm going to david duncan's house yes. for dinner yes with jillian and the girls we are going to david duncan's house for dinner tonight that would be oh my yeah. gosh that's nice it's that's a really nice. lovely place. it's an old estate type of place david mm -hmm. duncan that the man who owned all that land, you know, it's a really nice place. It's yep. really beautiful. It's a house. It's a house. Yeah. It's a so it's very a private. House. They turned really? it into a, and the rooms are amazing. And they turned it into a restaurant. It's really beautiful wow. to do that. Wow. Cool. Yes. That's that you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful time. Yes. Oh my God. I, I'm looking wow. forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. So time flies when we are having fun. <laughs> we going to wrap it up but before that i have two let's beautiful messages Stacey, Stacey, hi kimberly Stacey, i'll let stacy come in and she can when you leave you go i'll, let, I'll bring stacy in yeah oh well so i can okay, stay a little okay. longer because so you before have i leave thing. yes i have yeah. to leave in a few minutes before we leave i have two beautiful messages from your friends can i read yeah, of course you can i read them okay, okay. i can all right <laughs> 
Okay. Stacy hasn't put a makeup yeah. on, I would imagine. I know. <laughs> Although I told you. Oh, her. she hasn't put a hat on yet. So anyway. <laughs> so anyway, that's from uh, this one of the message one of the message from Georgette. Happy birthday to my earth angel. What would you say? Oh, okay. She, she, I think she may be a question. What Thank would you, you say? What would you say? are some of the best and valuable qualities or lessons to live a fulfilled and happy life? Actually, that was a question. Yeah, yeah. I, Georgia, that's a Would really you like to answer? good, I love the question. Yes. Because I always say, when somebody says to you, that's a good question, they don't have the answer. But I do have the answer for that. Anytime you ask a question, that's a good Please. question, they don't have the answer. So this question, what are the personality traits to live a fulfilled life? The first one, one is tolerance. The first one tolerance. is to be tolerant. Accept others for who they are because you cannot change people. There is a combination of nature and nurture. I always say that. So nature is what we come with. That's us. That's our DNA, our family mm -hmm. tree, all, all of that. It's us. Mm -hmm. and, and if our horoscope affects us, that's us. Nurture is what you can do. And nurture, nurturing cannot affect nature unless the person wants to change. So okay. we have to learn to be tolerant of somebody, for example, who is maybe really close and has a horrible attitude. You cannot do that. You cannot fix that. Mm -hmm. Because they have to see that they require to fix it. If they like it, you have to be able to say that is who they are and let them go. That doesn't mean you have to bend under it, but you have to learn less said in that case is better than nagging. The smoker cannot um, get out of smoking or drinking or gambling or taking drugs because you don't know what goes on sometimes you will mm -hmm. say like a friend of mine said my i did not raise my son to run around on his wife and i said it has nothing to do with you if we look back, back at generation it's in the generation the mm -hmm. grandfather the father and who knows how many generations before did that sometimes it skips a generation but the dna comes through mm -hmm. you know you we have all have children and there's sometimes something we do not like in a person that their father their mother or a family and or you see it coming through you just have to accept it and because you cannot tell that person i need you to change you, that is not your job you have to change your attitude towards them we have to change our attitude to, towards them. Yeah. So, for example, you accept them, mm -hmm. you spend less time with them. Mm -hmm. you pro that is in my book, The Five Pillars of Prosperity, Emotional Prosperity. I talk about that. You plan, that you, have to go to a function. you have to yeah. go to a function where they are. And you cannot not go. It's a mm -hmm. family function. Mm -hmm. So guess what? You have to plan how long you stay, how you're going to be, and then when you're ready to leave you have to be strong enough to say to the others that want you to stay i can't i have a, a, yeah. another commitment or i just can't mm -hmm. so that is tolerance if you can do that tolerate them do not nag it doesn't mm -hmm. work leave them alone and you know hello how are you fine you know i loretta knows me i walk up to that person first mm -hmm. and i greet them because then I know I did my responsibility as a human. Hello, how are you? Nice seeing you. Bye. Talk to you later. And Loretta goes, mm. I wish I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> she said, and then she said, where are you? Right. And she said, it's like you freeze them out, but you had such a warm greeting. I can't understand how you do that. But you have to protect you. That's, That's our so responsibility yeah. to yeah. protect I us, think, not to make yeah. them become something that we do not like about yeah. them. That yeah. right shift perspective will take your peace and mind. Yes, because if you take them on, Kimberly, you're going to have a hard time with the others. Yes. Anybody yeah. else, you're going to have a hard time dealing with other the people in the room because mm -hmm. they'll, they'll spoil your night. I experienced it just a few weeks ago. So I will use that technique. Hi, how are you? How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. 
we'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. <laughs> okay, I'll use that technique. I right, have to everyone. go. Somebody's <laughs> letting me. Laura God dies. Definitely <laughs> works. I'm pretty sure. I try when I do that. At a family function, I try not to look at Loretta because her face will make me give it up. So I ignore her. Oh, <laughs> so, oh, thank, thank you so much. Just super valuable yes. tolerance. And thank you so much for Georgette. Um, amazing question. Thank you. And great then, question. Really yeah. great question. Yeah. Great question. Thank you. And then this is a love note from Marina. I'm okay. sure Marina is still here. She said, I just want to send her love and good health she is an amazing woman for us to look up to oh thank, thank you marina. marina um you know i'm only following in the footsteps of more amazing women ahead of me you know that right Aww. so that is not a question but i can tell you something about that statement mm -hmm. an amazing woman had to have amazing women that they that they they, they observe and they follow yeah. and they listen yeah. and it doesn't always have to be a family mm -hmm. it could be a person that stood up for the best yes right or it could be the person that says you know what i did that and they, they were mm -hmm. strong and they had strength and you take a little bit like i look at emilia mm -hmm. Earhart, um, and i look at other strong i like catherine mm -hmm. Hepburn. these women they was they were so, some of them were strong they're actresses but they were everyday women um my grandmother <laughs> used to have me write her letters and she found out and she, that she said she notices if she, if while i'm writing i'm eating the letters a lot better <laughs> that's what she said so i remember that yes, and then yes. she she always had, she, my grandmother never worked. But then one day I found out she had like thousands of dollars under her mattress. And she wow. told us, that if we let my grandfather know, she's going to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> so, Much, a lot of money. Yeah, so wow. and then my mother yeah. said to me, no matter who you marry to, make sure you have an account on your maiden name. And she said, because you see, you have siblings and you have parents. And if it comes a time that you need to, help your family you should not be going to your husband please husband can i have 500 dollars to help my parents yeah he, he will see. give it to you maybe reluctantly but the next time you guys have a fight he will tell you your family is so decent so oh yeah it. so yeah. you have all these lessons and they're there Beautiful you know yeah so they're there for and women coming to say you have value so it's not everything you pick up from everybody mm -hmm. You cut off, Tessa, for some reason. I can't hear you. What's happening? Sorry to burn your bra so that you can have feminism. I really mm -hmm. never understood it because if I'm going to burn something, I would rather burn the man's underwear. Why am I burning my bra? I need it. It's mine. I, love, I yeah. love the analogy. That, yeah, so, that's good. <laughs> so, but I took other stuff from her. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, a call was coming from somebody that doesn't know what oh, I do. Oh, that's why. Yeah, now I, we can hear you. Yeah, I, yeah. So I would, never gonna be busy. I'm sure. yeah. I would never I, do that. No, I so, also but, will not burn. Yeah, out. it didn't make sense yeah. to me. But there were other qualities during that era that I used to help me to become me. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you read and like somebody say, well, what would you get from Lady Chatterley's lover? I like the book. I like what she had to yes. say. You know what I mean? Okay, so, so you can get the lesson from yeah, you learn anywhere, from Margaret, anything. And you then, learn from Margaret Thatcher. You yeah. pick up a little bit. Not all. You don't have to be, you do not have to be the person, but that person might have a quality trait that you can use. Of like, course. Of yeah. course. Maya and then, Angelou, she yeah. gave us so much. You always tell us that what you learn, if you don't share what you learn, right, you, you know, that's going to be not, I shouldn't say shameful, but you have to share what you learn. Yeah. And you're doing for us. Yeah. And then Pallavi said, I learned that lesson from you, she, you know? Yeah. So thank you so much for sharing. Like, and then you always give us golden nuggets, pink Canadian diamonds, and then black pearls. You always, you know, that's why you get up at 4 a.m. in the morning, yeah, go get stuff. And, and go 
go outside. And the only advice I have yes, that please. people do not take to do is alone time. Alone time. Alone, alone wow. time. Mm -hmm. You do not, and when I mean alone time, it's not sitting in the house watching TV and falling asleep. That is not alone time because you're hearing. Mm -hmm. Alone time is silence. You should be able to, to hear if you live in a house when the house creak. Mm -hmm. You should be able to hear when the furnace kicks in. Mm -hmm. You should be able to, to just stop, even if it's for 30 seconds. Alone time is where everything opens up. It's only when you are alone that you can absorb it. You, if you force yourself to do that, some people get irritated if they have to sit by themselves. Mm -hmm. I can't. I, I can sit by myself for days. It's mm -hmm. so funny. <laughs> I would imagine. Me and oh, my you, you took, Yes, you took me a place by the lake. And then you said, that's where I got five pillars of prosperity. Silence. The place, beautiful too, right? Yes. And also, yes. And, and yes. So, even if you told you well that I picked up leaves from the yep. street, that which wasn't Pick true. <laughs> To make that up, moment. to make, <laughs> to make up. <laughs> the, the grape thing, the grape the leaves, stuffed grape leaves, <laughs> and so yeah. That's so so this oh is God. yes. It you we have to train ourselves to be yeah. by ourselves. Even if you're married and you have a husband, and if you are blessed to have a garden or you are blessed to have a pot, sit there and look at the mm -hmm. the flowers. Just look at it. It it was dead. I was outside and I saw little um go what do you call it oak leaf lettuce growing in the cracks on the on the edge of the um vegetable garden oh. and I'm so happy to see them because I can take them and stick them into the ground and have that. So observe, observe, yeah. listen when somebody's speaking. I, I, I told you guys there was one day we I was watching a live with some people mm -hmm. and 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 this man came on he was a large person mm -hmm. and he was all in black and he was in the dark like he didn't have the spotlight on him and but what he had to teach was invaluable what did he, he, he yeah he was talking about life and how you should do things and so and he was maybe in his late 40s but mm -hmm. he was huge he was a large person so when we were done, I asked someone, how did you like that? Oh, he was, he was so fat and he was in the back and he was, I said, that's what you got from that? That person was looking, was looking at the shallow. Do mm -hmm. not judge a book by the cover. Open the damn pages and read it. Listen, mm -hmm. nature talks all the time and it's up to us to capture it. Beautiful. So I, oh my God. I'm only, guys, I know Yuko is going to leave us. If you have a question, just put it. Yeah. My son Michael say, Happy birthday, Tessa. You look awesome. No stress. Thank you. Thank you know you what? So I much. always say, Thank you, Michael. Uh, that name is fabulous. I love that name. Although Beautiful I didn't name. name my son, his sister named him. Yeah. Um, so you're like going to keep you're gonna keep going? I, keep I going. have to yeah, go. I know you so, have to go. Yes. So uh, before I go, I want to just to say, uh, tell everyone. And Tessa, thank you so much for, uh, you know, me, me in here to have a beautiful place, beautiful moment with you guys and beautiful lady, Tessa. I'm very grateful. Everything you teach, everything you teach from, uh, you teach me. See, like, I am growing. <laughs> I am, I know you call, it's a pleasure being with you and thank you oh. so much. Oh, I thank you for your gift. I have oh, you're welcome. but I, I know it came. Yes. I got a message. So thank you for that you're lovely welcome. gift. It will be All well right. put to you. So thank <laughs> you. And and it's a it's a, a pleasure teaching somebody yeah. like the little that you know. And that is a, a lesson for all of us mm -hmm. that we we all have something to teach. Yes, we we all we have something we can share. And it's mm -hmm. not even teaching, just share it. And yeah. do not expect it back and mm -hmm. do not expect it back from the same person. Mm -hmm. It will just come back. Mm -hmm. God will give it to you. Oh, the yeah. world will give it to you. Nature itself will shower it on you. It's yeah. up to you. If you have, you only have whatever you have, whether it's your mind, talents, gifts, or you have, for example, knowledge, or you have money. You only mm -hmm. have. And the reason why you have is so that you give. That's why you have. That's amazing. Yeah. And all right, so before I go, 
I want to just tell Teresa, thank you so much for teaching us do the, those okay, saving account things because I felt so good. I sent money to my mom in Japan yesterday for Mother's oh, Day. That, so I didn't have to, right? I didn't have to ask my husband. Oh, yeah, there you go. So I you have money. Your, you have your own money. Great. I have my own money. So you great are lesson. speaking for yourself in that way. It's positive. It shares with others. Thank you so much. So anyway, I gotta go and I trust you will have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful dinners with thank your family. And thank you so I much. I will let you know. All right, I please. Let you know. please. All right. Um, and then before okay, so one more thing. Everyone, I'm asking you to everyone, after Tessa posts this one, this this live archive, and go to Tessa's uh, uh, profile account and then please share this wonderful live to on your stories and tug us we would just that way it just spread out more a better a lot well, Long, just, thank women you. need to hear this thank you yuko because sometimes the yeah. questions you have yeah. do not be afraid to ask mm -hmm. it because mm -hmm. there's somebody out there that maybe has the same question and do not know where to get the answer mm -hmm. it might not be a complete answer but yeah. if I give them the key, mm -hmm. and if they open the lock, they'll get the rest of it. Yes, that's true. So anyway, thank you so much, and I love you, Tessa. Bye. 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 you. So guys, I'm going to hang on. Anybody who wants to come on can just say they want to come on. I'll let you on. And uh, if you have, thank you, Ceci, for recording this. I am happy you did this. Um, if you have questions, put it in. If, you, if we miss your question, just tell me, and we can pick up your question. Um, Ceci, uh, our lessons are gifts to others. It is. Um, it's so nice to see all of you here today and all of those who came and Terry singing and all the wonderful things that you have. Um, so I don't know what to tell you because I asked you to ask me questions. So if you don't ask me questions, I cannot really tell you anything. I know my brother came. He tried getting in touch with me this morning, but it didn't work out because i was outside or doing something um so if you have it put it in the question box you were that person for me tessa thank you um probably and so i still have your book i have to go to the post office and send it again <laughs> and i still haven't done it so um is there anything you guys would know i don't know what to tell you anyway the most important thing i'm going to say is that do not say you're given a gift to have a birthday. Do not say, ah, it's just my birthday. Just get in old. Do not do that. Because there's somebody in the world out there who has a birthday or who is hurting right now because they don't have that person in their life to share the birthday with them again. Thank you, Vera. So we have to remember that. Like I know for sure, was Stacy was very close to her mom and she misses her. So you remember that if you have a birthday, do not think your birthday is less than celebrate the ability to have another day and that you call that was the day I'm born and I'm celebrating that. So do not say, well, it's not my birthday. I don't need anything. You need a word. And my children, this morning the girls and the girls Kylie was including were still in pajamas and they sang a song to me I know if I put it on they will get angry because they were all in their pajamas so I but it was so nice for me to hear them singing that when it was there was a time I sang to them happy birthday sang to Kylie you know Kylie can 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 sing and and she's singing out loud and her voice is louder than everybody else because she has to be heard so when it's your birthday, accept that you, hey, I've been given another day to be amazing, beautiful, and spectacular. And you choose. And you choose to honor that. You do not have to say, well, don't bother. Your children are celebrating. Don't bother, you know, don't bother coming to celebrate birthday, my birthday. Ignore that. It's another year. I'm just getting, oh, you know, all of that. Then shut up. You are silly. You do not want to share. That's your point. Because two doors away, there's this lady. I know for sure for 40 years, she has not heard happy birthday mom from her son. So you sitting there 
there with your son telling you happy birthday or saying, Mom, what do you want? And you say, nothing, I have everything. Stop being a mean person. Drink up, get a bottle of wine and drink it as. Because you're being mean when you do that. So share with these people your birthday. Celebrate it. Be bold. Um, we all heard friends that would say to us, oh, I am, wait until I get to be 30. I'll be a devil to live with. Wait until I get to be 40. Come on, who wants to wait for that? Get in, into what age you're going into and realize, wow, what a privilege, what a gift I have to be here. One more day. Every day is one more day. And then when your birthday comes, seven decades plus eight, I am celebrating today. Who is luckier, if you want to use luck, who is more blessed than me, than me? So you say, well, I don't know what I want. You don't have to want. Do something. If And that's why I said, do what it is that when you do it, you feel good. It makes you, you love that feeling. So if it, is, it means having a glass of wine with lunch and lunch is 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock in Toronto and somebody says to you, you shouldn't do that. You're going to be an alcoholic. Well, you know what? It's six o'clock in France. Nobody knows why they, 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 there's a difference. But that's how they created the world for us to walk into. So enjoy it. Or oh, it's midnight in India. Do what it is that pleases you. If you want to spend your time in prayer, then do that. In meditation, do that. Walking and taking pictures of all what you see, then do that. Whatever you do these days, you are leaving a legacy because everything we do is documented. This will last long longer than all of us all of us because if you go into the ether somebody in a hundred years if they allow it might hear us and wonder what would these crazy women and men talking about but celebrate your birthday you when you do not celebrate your birthday you are less than you're supposed to be Amma. <laughs> so if you celebrate your birthday and you hide behind it you are less than you're supposed to be. So that is one of the things we have to remember. Hello, Amma. Here you are. <laughs> can you hear me? Can you see? Of course you can. <laughs> I cannot. Thank you, Amma. Are you driving? You're I see you're amazing. driving. I see that. Yeah. Sorry, I'm and in of the course, car. when we're in our car, we don't. I, I can see your sunglasses, so it's sunny in London, is it? That's a treat. <laughs> oh, it's, and it's who is sunny that? in London? We're having our five minutes oh. of summer. <laughs> yeah, that is London for sure. <laughs> so, happy birthday! Happy birthday. Happy, birthday. happy birthday from my husband. Mom, say happy birthday. My mom, happy, say, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing great. I was just telling my mom, can you believe this stunning woman? Thank you. You're an inspiration. <laughs> you're such an inspiration. Your energy, your spirit, your commitment to supporting your community, your love. Thank we feel you. you. Thank you so England. much for joining. It's, it's really a pleasure. I, you know how I, I respect you. And I look forward to hearing you and to talk, chatting with you. So it's always a pleasure when I see you come on. Remember, I thought you were, I thought you were tall. <laughs> you told me, no, I'm short. I, I am the tall one. <laughs> no, I didn't call myself short. All good things come in small packages. Well, you have I'm all the energy you. in a small package. <laughs> you can go, kaboom, here I am. Yes, and so exactly. Right, Stacey? Yes, Stacey's still there and the others. Uh, well, I had to jump in and wish you happy birthday. I'm going to leave you to continue, but we wanted to wish you a very <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you so much, and we shall chat soon. Have a wonderful day with your mom, and I guess that's your sexy husband there. <laughs> so, <laughs> hello, everybody. Take care, Mama. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Bye. Darling. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Hi, guys. And that was Amma from London. And she said they're having a summer day. <laughs> One summer day. London weather for you. So anyway, we have seven minutes. No questions. Um, thank you. you, you thank, oh, my goodness. Thank you for doing that. No questions left. So anyway, 
just celebrate life, okay? Um, when your children are doing something for you, do not say no. And when they're not doing something for you, do not say you should because I carried you for nine months, no charge and all of that. I fed you, I took you to soccer games, I did all of that. Just let them be themselves and you get cracking on being you. Um, and those that don't like you, it's okay because normally they don't like themselves. Um, just accept them, choose your behavior towards them. And just sometimes you're going to just click and you fire back. And that's okay. But most times, just pay to listen and let them do their thing. It's okay if they do their thing and their thing is not your thing and it's okay. Um, you, you, you have a friend that would call you, I, can, I, I don't like what you're doing or you, you do this because I come to the conclusion from observation is that they cannot do it. They cannot make a fool of themselves. And to make a fool of yourself is to accept where you are. Just accept it. If you do not accept the position you are in your life, then you and only you can make the effort to change it. Nobody can force you to change it. And if you do something that is not something you enjoy, you will not enjoy it. So let it go, move forward and say, I am heading in the direction I have to go. So you love to have nice clothes. Wear them. You have perfume. You cannot wear it at the office now, but you can wear it at home. So put it on. You know, put it on when you just get out of the shower. Your body is hot and it feels amazing. So do those things, take your time and put the, the cream or the lotion, the potion that you like on your face. I like oils. So I use that on my face, I use it on my body. Choose what you love and do it. You don't want to eat this, don't eat it. You don't want to have that, don't have it. You don't want to go there, avoid it. Sometimes you have to show up and hold your nose. Well, you show up and you hold your nose and you have a right to vote, so vote. Make that X. Because if you do not use your rights, you will not always have those rights or you will not be able to actually take action on it. For example, I have been walking. I come home and then Brian looks at me. I'm home from walking. I'm sitting. The phone rings. A friend says, I'm going for a walk. You want to come? I said, sure, let's go. So I went walking. And before I left, he said to me, but you just came from walking. I said, yes. And I turned to him, I said, you know, Brian, there might be one day when I want to walk and I won't be able to. I do not want to remember that I had opportunities to go walking and I chose not to honor that. Unfortunately for me, it's my friend who now can go on those walks with me. The same one who said, I want to go for a walk with you. She has something that is preventing her from walking and she's younger than me. So take the opportunities at a place before you. Take the opportunities at a place before you. Say yes more than you say no. And that's one of the things. And let others paddle their own canoe. Do not jump in the water if you do not have a, a what you call it, a life vest to save somebody. Put on your vest first, then jump. So, and that means tolerate. Let them do their thing. Stand back and say, you got this. Do not turn your back on those that you love. You can avoid some contact, but do not completely cut them off in half because it's not the way to do it. So have a great day. I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, who's that? Oh, here comes my sister, if she's still there. I, I, she, 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 she might not be. Here you are. That's my sister Dawn. She's in her pajamas. Happy birthday! Oh, thank you. That's my, that's my, my sister, my younger sister, and she's in her pajamas. I'm wonderful, enjoying the day. That's good. Thank you, I'm Stace. Um, yeah, I was just to have a great birthday. Thanks, Pavely. I, hi, Georgie. Thank you. All of you guys. Hi, Don. Stacy Cole says, Don, you cool. Yes, how did I get on? How did I get here? I just put you on, and my face is on the screen. What did I do? 
<laughs> you have to learn to do this more often because if you had, you wouldn't have that problem. I know. I'm not good at that. You are not good but you know what? You need to figure it out. <laughs> you can do this. The thing is that Instagram does that. And then I saw, I didn't know who, then I saw it was you. I said, well, she wants to come on. You are the second person that did this uh, today. So uh, all these people are saying, no, oh, yeah, there is my sister, <laughs> Dawn. There she is. She likes her gray, guys. I'm not me. <laughs> I am like Stacy. Every week we color her hair, Stacy and I. It's like a tag team. <laughs> well, go to being in the ocean every day for the rest of my life coming up soon i don't need here oh yeah my sister dawn is is going back to dominica to live forever and ever Amen. And, and she's living on in this month yeah. so it's nice thank you did you sing happy birthday you want to do it no now? no 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 i'll call you on the side <laughs> you look amazing though i love you very much oh thank you and, and, I don't know how to get off. Should I just stay and listen? No, I'm going to get off. So okay, when I look, when I get a minute, and so so that's good. Thank you so much for dropping by. <laughs> Eric called this morning at four o'clock. Oh boy! I was up, but I was outside in the backyard asking, just standing there and letting nature do its best. Did he sing you happy birthday? Oh no, no, no! <laughs> He's going to sing. I'm sure he is. And you know what that sounds like. <laughs> so, so anyway. I bye everybody. Let me say goodbye. You can stay there, Don. It will yeah. take you off. So hi, thanks, Nancy, <laughs> Stacy, Arita, Jean, Yuko, Georgie, um, Pavely, Marina, Gili, Gavi, and Loretta. Thank you so much, everybody, for hanging with me. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and take care. Bye. <laughs>